app manager here in Simply Dynamics. Uh, welcome to our webinar today on SD Bulk Mailer, which is one of our most popular apps and is available up on Microsoft App Source. So with Bulk Mailer, you can easily manage scheduled using Business Central job queues and manual generation and emailing of 15 different document job types. So with Bulk Mailer, uh, you can set up defined points of contacts for all your emails. Um, you can include additional attachments on your emails based on date ranges. And an example of these attachments could be promotional or marketing flyers that you want to attach to your outgoing emails. Uh, with Bulk Mailer, you can also use a HTML editor to define the templates for the subject and body of the emails, allowing you to create a professional and consistent look and feel to all your email communications that are issued um, and generated from SD Bulk Mailer. Um, you can also generate and deliver your emails in um, just a few clicks. And also a full history is maintained of all the emails, um, all the draft emails that you sent. OK, so. With Bulk Mailer, um, we have 15 different job types, um, job document types uh, that you can generate an email. And when you download Bulk Mailer from App Source, you can use the assisted setup action here. Um, and all these job types with their associated setup are imported into Bulk Mailer and they're ready for you to start using uh, once you define your email account on the Bulk Mailer setup. So today, um, to bring you through how these jobs are set up and used to generate drafts and deliver emails, we'll take a look at two different job types that we have in Bulk Mailer, the sales order job type and the sales invoice job type. Um, we'll take a look at the sales order job type first, which you can see here we have all our different job types. Um, so the different documents that you can send uh, um, from Bulk Mailer, we've got sales credit memo, uh, customer, sales order, you can see here purchase on the purchase side, purchase invoices and orders. You can generate um, and send reminders, uh, sales invoices, uh, quotes, shipments and so on, vendor and vendor remittance. OK, so we'll go in and we'll take a look at our sales order job type. Um, and here in the job card for the sales order, um, you can set your delivery method. I'll just go through a few a few of the key setup uh, fields. Um, your delivery method you can set to email or print because using bulk mailer you can also um, run your reports uh, to, to print in bulk. Um, but we were looking at the emailing side today. Um, we have security in bulk mailer, which allows you that you can limit um, your users. You can um, add them to a user group and you link this user group then to Bulk Mailer and it's only users within that assigned user group that can generate or deliver the documents from uh, Bulk Mailer. Um, the output, output file type, um, you can choose PDF, um, Word or Excel um, document attachment, um, choose your report ID, and this is the report ID that you want to generate your emails for. So here for this example for our, uh, our webinar here, I'm just using the standard uh, Business Central sales order confirmation report. Um, and also we have in our later version, our, our newer versions of uh, Bulk Mailer, we have the option that you can use the um, email body layout and the standard Business Central functionality in place of the Bulk Mailer templates um, that you can define for the job. Um, I'll show you the templates in the sales order. Within these templates, you can define your um, su your subject and your uh, body of the email, how you want your email to look. But for this example, with the sales order, we're just going to use the standard email body layout. Um, when you pick this option, you can choose to attach your document to the generated email, which will mean that you can choose to have the email body layout as per this. 
um, and also attach the report from um, this report ID here to your generated email. Um, also in the job cards, you can use filters. So these filters here, we can filter our sales order report um, to print only um, sales order reports for document dates greater than equal to that date and with um, a status of released. Uh, another good thing with bulk mailer is that you can define your uh, points of contacts for your emails. So the, your uh, recipients of your emails, you can choose your account. So that's the, for in this example here, it's the sales order. So that would be the email on the customer card. Um, you can choose to send to the email of your contact, which is what we're using here in this example. Um, you can choose to send to the email address associated with the document. So the sales order document or the document contact. You can also choose to send your generated emails to your job responsibility contacts for the individual customers and um, also to the mailing group contacts if you want to set those up and also to a specific address. Um, and the specific address is good in situations where perhaps you want to send the emails to your account contact, your sales order, but you also want to get a copy sent to your own maybe um, in-house accountancy um, person in-house. So you, that's where you could choose the specific address. Um, and then again, we have our additional attachments here. I'll just show you these. So these would be, say, your marketing or your promotional info you might want to send out with your sales order um, for a period of time, a certain period of time. So you can easily just set these up here with your from to dates. Um, and they when you report, when you generate your emails, then your drafts, um, these um, additional attachments will be attached to each of the sales orders. OK, so it's as simple then as just choosing to generate the drafts. And we we'll let those run in the background. So this is running the sales order report um, and it will um, show up here in the drafts now. OK, so we can go back into our draft list here. And we can see our sales orders have generated. So here we can see it's picked up our defined points of contact. It's our specific address and then the um, account contact, which will vary for each of the different customers. Um, you can see also that um, our additional attachment, our flyer, has been attached along with the actual sales order itself. Um, and we can get a preview here of what the email um, will look like. So there's the standard business central email body layout um, that is defined for that standard report that we're using for this job. OK, so you can send it in. I'll just issue one draft, but you can send these all in bulk once you review them, once you're happy with them. And it's just as simple as just issuing that draft. So that's going to go to me and I'll show you how that looks once it hits my um, inbox. OK, um, and we'll go back in and we'll just take a look at our sales invoice job types just to show you how um, very similar setup as the sales order. But I just want to show you the um, template code that comes with um, bulk mailer that you can use to define your email subject and your email body. And this allows you to create um, the professional and consistent uh, look and feel to all the email communications that are generated from Bulk Mailer. So this is our template here that we've defined for this job type of sales invoice. And you can define these templates for, for all of your jobs. So here you can see we can use placeholders for this job type of sales invoice. Placeholder fields here, um, we've added in the header number, um, the bill to customer number and the bill to customer name from the sales invoice itself. So you've got a choice of um, having your placeholder source coming from the account, which would be the customer card in this situation, from the contact card linked to the account um, or to the document itself, the sales invoice itself. So you can see here we also in our email body, the template, um, you can define placeholder fields again, 
Uh, you can choose your, your text, you can increase your font size, um, and uh, that then is generated. Um, Bookmailer uses that template then when it's generating the emails. So we'll go back into our sales invoice and again, we'll just generate our drafts for our sales invoice report. And I'll um, show you how they look then as well. And again, you can choose to run manually um, or you can set up job queues as well, which will run the uh, bulk mailer jobs for you overnight and email as well if you wish, or you can choose to um, not email when the job queue is, has been run, that the job queue just generates the emails and then you could come in and review them the next morning and um, email them off, issue them off to your to the recipients. OK, so here's our sales invoices here. And again, we have our defined points of contact. We have our sales invoice report um, that has been attached to the draft um, and then our email content here. So we can see that this is different. This is using our email template that we can define in bulk mailer. So again, I'll just issue the one draft. And I can show you how that looks. Just opening a sales order combination here that to my inbox. So you can see here it's attached our sales order. And there we go. Our order confirmation. It's attached our circular, the um, additional attachment. Um, you can see here that it's used the report, the email body layout to send um, the, uh, to generate um, to place on the email. Sorry, and um, just waiting now for the sales invoice to hit my inbox. Here we go. This one here. Again, it's attached to our sales invoice. I didn't have any additional marketing material or additional attachments um, on our sales invoice job. But you can see here it's used the um, email template um, the, for the job type, the sales invoice job type there. Um, and we can see it's, it's sent to our defined points of contact. Okay, so just um, again, just to mention that Bulk Mailer is available in AppSource. Um, we offer a 30 day free trial. Um, no credit card details are required when you're setting up uh, to use the free trial. And you can use the assisted setup that I mentioned earlier um, when you've downloaded Bulk Mailer. And that will import all these uh, 15 different job types um, and you're there ready to go. You can um, set up bulk mailer, then um, fill in your own account, email account details um, and maybe modify the recipients and you're good to go to start emailing and generating your emails from bulk mailer. OK, so thank you for listening and for your time. Is anyone any questions? Have we any questions there, Aileen? No, I I don't believe so. Um, okay. Alice, yeah, thank you for a great webinar, very informative. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye.